Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video we are going to take up one very very interesting question from algebra. Here we have to form one cubic equation whose roots are the squares of the roots of the given cubic x cube plus 2x square minus x plus 5 equal to 0. So let's get started. Let's consider the roots of the given cubic equation as alpha beta and gamma. Then immediately using Vita's method, we can write three equations. First one, the sum of roots, which will be equal to alpha plus beta plus gamma. As per equation, we will write minus 2. Sum of roots taken two at a time, alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha will be equal to negative 1 and product of roots alpha beta gamma will be equal to minus d over a as per formula so we will write minus 5. So these three equations are known to us. Now we have to form one cubic equation so let us form in variable y and roots of this equation would be alpha square beta square gamma square and equation is y cube plus a y square plus b y plus c equal to 0. Again we can use Vita's method and we can write a b c value in terms of alpha square beta square and gamma square. So a would be sum of roots but with negative sign so I will write here minus of alpha square plus beta square plus gamma square b will be equal to sum of roots taken two at a time so alpha square beta square plus beta square gamma square plus gamma square alpha square and c is product of roots but we cannot forget minus sign so we need to write minus of alpha square beta square gamma square now our target is to find out a b and c once a b c will be known we will plug in over here and we will be knowing the cubic equation let us calculate a b and c i will write our known equations first now we will apply one algebraic formula for alpha plus beta plus gamma whole square. We know as per formula we will write alpha square plus beta square plus gamma square plus two times in the bracket alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha. Now here we are going to write minus a as a is minus of alpha square plus beta square plus gamma square. Here we will write minus 2 as per equation 1. Here we are going to write minus 1. So we will write minus 2 square will be equal to minus a plus 2 times minus 1. Now minus 2 square is 4, RHS is minus a minus 2. Now we will add 2 to both sides. We will get 4 plus 2 equal to minus a. Or we can write 6 is equal to minus a. Now we will multiply by minus 1 both sides. We will get the value of a minus 6. Now we will calculate b. Let me write here equations. Here it is. I will use formula, the same formula, but for alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha whole square. So we will write here alpha square beta square plus beta square gamma square plus gamma square alpha square plus 2 times 
product of alpha beta with beta gamma so i can write alpha beta square gamma plus product of beta gamma with gamma alpha we will write here beta gamma square alpha plus gamma alpha with alpha gamma so i will write here gamma times alpha square beta so here we can write minus 1 in the bracket only here i will be writing b and from this bracket i will take alpha beta gamma common out so lhs will be minus 1 whole square rhs is b plus 2 times let us take alpha beta gamma common from the bracket so in the bracket we will get beta plus gamma plus alpha beta plus gamma plus alpha now you can see alpha plus beta plus gamma is minus 2 so here we are going to put minus 2 and this value is minus 5 minus 1 square is 1 i will write 1 equal to b plus 2 times minus 5 times minus 2 so 1 equal to b plus 2 times minus 5 times minus 2 20 so b will be equal to negative 19 a was minus 6 b is minus 19 let us find out c also so i need to write only third equation alpha beta gamma was negative 5 and c was minus of alpha square beta square gamma square so i can write c will be equal to minus of alpha beta gamma whole square so c will be equal to minus of minus 5 whole square c will be equal to minus of 25 so c is equal to negative 25 now we have all three unknowns are known c is minus 25 b is equal to minus 19 a was negative 6 now we will write our cubic equation so our cubic equation would be y cube plus ay square plus by plus c equal to 0 so i will write equation y cube minus 6y square minus 19y minus 25 equal to 0 so this is our final answer i hope friends you will like this video Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and hype. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.